Okay, let's proceed with this lecture. Marketing and strategy lecture number three. Now, in order to think beyond our current situation or uh, from the marketer's current situation, he has to think long term, right? So this is where the marshmallow test comes in. Now, marshmallow test was basically a test that was uh, conducted. It, it helps you to think about something and to think long term, not just short term. So, so thinking would makes you uh, do your business in a more intelligent way. If you are unable to think, if you are unable to judge things, if you are unable to intelligently analyze things, you will not be able to do business uh, for a longer period of time. So you have to start thinking. You have to start thinking in a long term way. So. So the, the marshmallow test uh, is actually a study which was conducted by, a, by the faculty of psychology at Stanford University in which they offer to uh, give these students uh, a marshmallow. They say that to various children, they say that here is one marshmallow. If you, you, it's your choice. If you can eat it now, you can have it. But if you wait for another 15 minutes, I will come back and I will give you two marshmallows and you can have two marshmallows and you can eat those two marshmallows. So the choice is yours. If you're going to eat it, you can eat it right now or you can decide to wait for another 15 minutes so that when I'll return, I'll give you if, if I see that the marshmallow is untouched and you have not eaten it. I will give you another one and then you can have two marshmallow and you can have two marshmallow to eat. So this was basically the test in which these, uh, the, the various children, there are various number of children, uh, there are certain number of children which, uh, uh, which uh, certain number of ch children eat the marshmallows right, right away. And then there are certain number of children which, uh, which waited for the, for the 15 minutes and to have two marshmallows. So this was basically the test that was conducted by the uh, Department of Psychology in the Stanford University. And it was conducted uh, over a various period of time. And the, all the data was collected from all these students, their name, their age, what they wanted to do. And they, uh, they came back after several years, after 10 years, uh, 15 years, they came back to these, these students and they find out that these those students uh, those students or those children who who didn't wait for the other marshmallow and they eat the marshmallow immediately they were lacking in terms of success in the in the in, in terms of business in terms of job some were basically uh, end up in prison someone has committed crime someone has committed suicide because they were unable to cope up with the patience of uh, of uh, with the unable to cope up with the patients and they they don't understand the concept of long term thinking and long term planning and the the students who waited for another marshmallow they waited 15 minutes to get another marshmallow they what the scientist and the uh, the the professor found out that the those students who waited for another 15 minutes they tend to do good and they tend to do well in the in their lives they were a successful business person they were successful uh, uh, they were successful uh, they have a successful family they were much happier they were um, uh, they invested more in uh, in certain uh, various financial institution and they are doing well in the in, in the in the life why because they tend to wait and they tend to focus their energy towards long term thinking and long term benefit so that was basically the marshmallow test that was conducted they, uh, the, those who waited longer have a higher SAT score, they have a higher education attainment, they have a good body mass index, and they have uh, similar to uh, grit, which is basically called the Hummer. This was basically a test that was conducted. Now, what this test tells us is that it tells us how to think, or whether the thinking, whether there is an importance of thinking or not, how to focus on long-term goals and benefit whether it would be easy or whether it would be hard for us to focus uh, how can we f how can we focus our uh, towards our goals and benefits 
how can we fight our urges how can we fight our emotion how can we maintain peace and maintain uh, balance in the work life uh, situation how can we be patient how can we be uh, how can we do good in the and in, in not to react quickly and uh, and keeping our efforts focused towards our goal how can we do that so this test reveals several uh, results and several ideas and those are basically the marshmallow test uh, which lays the foundation of of thinking more in terms of long term approach rather than the short term approach and this is what the marketers and this is what the the businessmen should look forward to if you really want to do business you have to think long term you have to think you need to define goals you need to uh, fight your urges you have to be patient you have to make your efforts uh, in a such a way that it would be beneficial for everyone so <clears throat> any question any query so far okay strategy uh i did get to discuss what is a strategy in the in the uh, in my first lecture in the in the class if you remember so let me again emphasize that a strategy is a method and place a uh, plan or course of action choose to bring about a desired future such as achievement of a goal or a situation uh, or solution solution to a, a problem incorporating all internal and external factors in uh, in urdu we call it hikmat e amli right remember that i i uh, i told you that there is a difference between a strategy and planning whereas the planning is is the uh, is the result of internal looking and uh, where the strategy is actually the combination and the and focusing on the internal factor as well as the external factors and the strategy emerges when there is a competition right does anybody rem remember that are you guys with me hello anybody there okay <clears throat> let's proceed okay so so planning a strategy is something which is this okay now long term plan versus strategy long term plan is sequential step and and moves towards to reach a goal it it's inward looking i told that in the in the lecture then we have strategic entrails compared moves positioning marketing conversation to guide a long term long plan inward as well as outward outward looking so we did get to discuss about the planning and the strategy whereas the planning is the looking it's own and the internal aspect of things whereas the strategy in, in trails both the inward and the outward looking which means it tend to analyze the internal capabilities and the resources that the companies has and the outward looking which means the external factors which could affect its business so this is something which we call uh, strategy this is the difference between planning and strategy okay why to craft a strategy why the businessman need to craft or why to create a strategy it's strategy is often the difference between the high performance and the under performance business it's way to fulfill the gap if the business is performing poor and you want your business to perform good then there actually there is a gap between what is the current situation and what is the future position that you want to be in and clearly there is a gap between them so strategy is a way to fulfill that gap and makes your performance reach to that potential level right so this is this is where the strategy comes in and this is what the strategy does it's management prescription of doing business it's how the management perceived and how the management should do the business that what really matters or it's what we call the game plan of customer satisfaction is how you can compete in the market and you can make your customers satisfied with your product and the services that's the game it's it's a game that is basically being played in the market and you are basically one of the uh, uh, important um, uh, players in the market and you need to get ahead in this game so that you can get to satisfied your satisfy your customer so actually 
and uh, another thing it's the path to achieving the competitive advantage through absolute brilliant strategies and brilliant planning you can get to be the king of the market or you can create competitive advantage or uh, competitive advantage is the firm ability to create value in a way that its rivals cannot this is what competitive advantage is all about okay so strategic planning what is strategic planning strategic planning is the process of developing and maintaining the strategic fit between the company's organizational uh, organizational goals and capabilities and its changing marketing opportunities which means whatever going on in the market if there is an opportunity and so uh, or if the company want to fulfill a goal or want to make the company the number one company of the of the market then it needs to have some sort of planning or some sort of strategy so that it can fulfill that that goal and even if there's an opportunity in the market if there is a problem if there is a gap what the customer is actually want and shouting that i want this thing i want this thing that this is something which is missing from the market and and by through strategies you can get to provide them what they want and you can get profit in return so this is what we call strategic planning you need to plan things out so that you can capture the opportunity and you need to plan things out so that you can uh, fulfill the organizational capabilities goal Yes, juice stall example that I've given. Yes, yes, yes. If you remember, good, good, good. Yes, we make our strategies to compete um, or to fulfill our long-term goals because our long-term goals in the market is actually we want to have a higher share in the market. We want to be in a good position in the market so that we can get more profit out of that that uh, opportunity. any question any query so far okay okay <clears throat> now now this is the strategic management process i want everybody to take a good look at this because if you remember if you get to understand this then it's a piece of cake for you to do strategic marketing now if you have you might have done Uh, you might have uh, done the course strategic management if not then this is your chance to do that because because this is your chance to understand the strategic management process first of all <clears throat> if you really want to do good in the market or if you really want to establish a uh, a company what you need to do first of all what you need to do you need to develop a vision and mission statement you must know your destination where do you want to do what you want to do and why do you want to there has to be a strong justification and strong reason for uh, for your for your company existence and your and and for your vision otherwise it's useless to haphazardly doing efforts in order to do something that you that you don't understand what what you're doing and why you're doing it so you must have a destination in mind you must have a a vision in mind for your company where do you want to see your company in the next 10 years which position do you want your company to to be at in the marketplace and why do you think you that you want to establish this company what is the reason what is the logical rational and purpose of the reason that your company exists this is something which is that needs to be written down this is something that needs to be clearly uh, understand before you get to start your business before you get to start doing something that you want so establish a vision and the mission a statement which clearly indicates which act as a guide for you to do other work if you do not know where you are going you may end up some some place else right now once you do get to establish you do get to understand and you do get to develop the where do you want to go and uh, why do you want to go there then what you try to do you perform the external and internal audit now this is basically internal analysis and the external analysis which means you need to highlight and you need to understand the internal factors of your company 
the internal factors are basically what what are the factors what are the things that reside inside the boundaries of the company and what are the external factor what lies beyond the boundaries of the company are the external factor for the internal factors there are employees there are machines there are equipment there are raw material there are strategies policies and various knowledge and skills all reside inside the boundaries of the company you need to analyze this which means you need to understand how many things that we have that can we use in order to create product how, how much knowledge is required in order for us to develop the product whether we have good employees that can help us to develop products or not whether we have the uh, the resources whether we have the enough enough money in order to create product and services or not all the internal thing that reside inside the boundaries of the company we all need to analyze that so that we can understand the feasibility of doing something and creating product which which we tend to create and then we we tend to analyze the external factors or internal external uh, factors of the of the market and the situation that reside at the boundaries of the market for example we need to understand what is the market situation how many competitors are basically there in the market uh, whether the customers how many customers are there who are willing to buy our product whether we will be able to uh, make them happy or not whether uh, they are they willing to pay for that uh, what that we are uh, that we are about to sell them or not and what are the market condition what are the how is the competition whether what the rules and regulations of the government that we need to follow in order to create our product and services so this these are all actually the external factors which we needs to understand and consider before we can get to start our uh, company and once we develop the vision and the mission and and does the internal and the external which is actually actually sort analysis it's the uh, highlighting the strength and the weaknesses from the internal and opportunity and the threats from the external factors we can proceed onwards to in order to create a long term objective or long term goals what do we need to do in order to reach to that position market lead market leadership position what are the things that we need to do in the next 2 years in the next 5 years and next 10 years so how can we do that so that we can reach to our vision and our destination so you need clearly need to you need to have a long term objective and long term goals so that you can get to your vision then you need to evaluate and select strategies once the goals are established once we once we understand the market and we tend to understand whatever we uh, were capable of then we need to select strategy how can we fulfill this goal how can we provide our product and services to the market and what are the planning that needs to be done so that we can fulfill the the customers uh, requirements and by selecting the strategies planning the strategies then we need to planning is not just enough even if we have if we have brilliant pr- planning and if we are not implementing those planning it's useless so creating a, a plan is something else and implementing is something else so every plan that is created has to be implemented because only through implementation we can get to reach our goals and we can get to reach our vision so we need to implement those strategies as well and then we get to deliver the product to the, our customers and services and then implementing the strategy marketing and financial and accounting and various issues that uh, resolve various issues that comes as we implement those strategies and then after delivering the product and services to our customer we can get to evaluate and our performance whether we did well whether the strategy was good whether we our goals that we set was low or high whether are we going in the right direction or not are we expecting the the enough sales that that we were expecting or uh, 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 do we have the enough sales that we were expecting or not the, do we need to go back to the drawing board and select a different strategy do we need to go back to a drawing board and and set another goal or do we go back to the drawing board and implement those strategies in a different manner so that we can get to arrive at a, at, at a better results so this is something which we call the strategic management process it is quite common sense it's quite obvious so you you don't have to be a scientist in order to understand all this so it is divided into certain categories for example this 
understanding and developing the vision and the mission is actually the strategic realization in which you realize that something needs to be done where do you want to go and why do you want to uh, where uh, why do you want to go that then we have strategic analysis in which you analyze your internal capabilities and the external market situation and then you need to you need to create a strategic uh, strategic formulation in which goals are established and the strategies are uh, uh, plan and strategies are developed so this is what we call strategic formulation and then those strategies need to be implemented in the market in the in the product in the services and the in the operation point of view so that you can get to implement those services and then you can get to uh, to the point of a strategic evaluation you need to find out whether you did well or not what are the things that needs to be changed so that you can get to do things in a better way so these are base actually and basically are the elements of strategic management process which are basically which is basically is uh, same for everything each and everything that you do if you really want to do a long term business a long term uh, planning or uh, even if you want to if you want to run a company or if you want to run a government in a long term 5 years manner this is actually the process that you need to go through i hope that the our politician would be able some day would be able to understand this process and would be able to uh, implement uh form goal formulate strategies implement those strategies and reevaluate over the over again so that they would go in the right direction any question any query so far okay <clears throat> let's proceed forward so strategic planning for marketing is actually this thing that i've just told you so these are actually the the steps of the process which is basically this is the common management process but if you filter those process and you you tend to tailor and fix those process from the marketing prospect, perspective this is basically what needs to be done which is basically the similar first you need to define the company's vision and mission mission is actually the purpose of the company for which it is it was established vision is something that destiny where do you want your company to 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 reach uh set mission into strategic goals and objective then you need to highlight various years goals through which you can get to fulfill and you can get to reach your vision and then you get to design business portfolio you need to come up with the with the offer with the strategies and the, how can you get to fulfill the the customer want and need through which uh, product and through which services the portfolio is actually connection collection of the businesses products that makes up the company what product that you going to launch what services are you going to launch that would fulfill the the customer's expectation planning marketing strategy to achieve those goal planning and then implementing those strategies in order to achieve the, those goal and in term would uh, get the uh, the product and the services uh, planning and uh, in, in terms would get you the return uh, of 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 the efforts okay any question any query so far okay uh understanding the company's vision mission and mission vision i have already told you is the description of something or organizational operation culture as a business technology and an activity in the future where do you want to see yourself where do you want your company uh to be in the next 5 year 10 years period uh vision is the mental perception of a kind of a environment in, in the individual and or in an organization aspiration to create within the broad time horizon this is these are actually of actually the the complicated terminology but the vision is the destiny of of your company where do you want to see yourself where do you want your comp- where do you want to take your company to which height it's actually the vision mission is the purpose of the company the general purpose of the organization why the organization exists why you are doing and uh, what you are doing and why you are doing it uh, it should be feasible uh, precise clear motivation and uh, distinctive uh it also indicates the major components of the strategy a strategy emerges from the mission when you know why you're doing it then you also would know how you can do it so so a strategy emerges from mission and then business objectives 
in order to get to those vision in, in order to get to that destiny what are the things that i need to do on a short term and on a long term basis so that i can reach to my destiny so this is what we call the business objective okay um this is yet again a few of the definition of the mission and vision i'm not going to go into that what are the components of a mission statement you can pause and you can note things down here um actually these are the guideline that can help you to uh, to create a mission and the vision of of the company or the product that you're launching uh what are the benefits of having a clear mission and vision right these again these are a few of the 10 of the benefits uh, you can get to read them uh, you can pause them and you can get to note things down if you have any question and query just let me know then what is the difference between goal and objective goal is the purpose of your effort what do you want to achieve by through your task through your effort is your goal goal is actually an intermediate destiny or intermediate path or a milestone that you want to achieve objective is measurement of the result how would you know that the goal has been achieved what are the measurement what are the things that you are uh, you are measuring uh, your uh, goals Uh, what are the unit and what are the things through which you would know that i have achieved my goal so so what are the things regarding that so you can get to pause thing there is an action and there is a basically a, a table that you, that can get to highlight thing but in a broader sense this is what is strategic strategic alignment is all about for example if you really want to establish a hospital and you really want to do uh, to become a doctor this is what your vision is all about or this is what your what you want to do to to make a hospital and why do you make a hospital it's the reason because there are so many sick people and you want to uh, and you want to serve them and you can in a way you can get to earn the profit as well so this is something which is the vision and the mission that you want to do and these are actually the goals that you tend to achieve over the period of time and in 2030 you can get to establish your hospital so each goal for example you can get to do uh, you can uh, take admission in the uh, medical uh, college and then you can get to graduate you can get to do an uh, internship uh, household uh, um, uh, 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 house service what do you call it? i don't know answer okay so you can do that and then you can get to uh, associate yourself in a in a with the hospital you can get to understand how the hospital functions and then you can get various finances in order to establish and found uh, lay a foundation of the hospital and then you can establish a hospital and you can run it so these are actually the the goal which takes you towards your vision and vision and every goal has set of objective which can help you to decide and help you to measure whether you have reached that goal or not so each goal has objectives and uh, each objective links to the goals and each goal links to the uh, the vision and the vision now in order to establish the result in order to get the result of uh, there could be various result for example if the pakistani team wants to uh, to be uh, the uh, to win world cup and wants to establish its uh, prestige in the uh, uh, or uh, defend its honor in the in the uh, in the sports arena what they need to they need to win the world cup so so in order to win the world cup you have to you have to win certain number of matches and for certain number of matches you how would you know that you have they what you do in order to win the match you need to keep your players from getting out you need to keep a higher run rate you need to you need to have an aggressive approach so after doing all that you need to perform various task you need to perform various activities so that this objective would be achieved and once the this objective is achieved there are other tasks that the other people or you may be doing which would get you to achieve this objective and this objective only when all these objectives are fulfilled only then this goal would be achieved right so this is what we call strategic alignment and a strategic alignment is absolutely crucial if you really want to uh if you really want to uh establish a long term objective or if you really want to establish your company if you really want to serve the market so this is what we call strategic alignment any question any query so far
Atif, vision is what we want to achieve and mission is why do we want to achieve. Mission is actually the, uh, the reason for our vision or what we are doing and why we are doing it. It's actually the purpose. Okay. Okay. So this is what we call strategic alignment and it is absolutely correct absolutely essential that everybody understands the strategic alignment in in terms of whatever that they're doing if they want to if they want to establish a business if they want to establish a hospital if you want to establish a school if they want to establish yourself uh, as a as a business tycoon what are the goals that needs to be set for each year and how goals can be achieved by doing what and what are the activities that you need to do in order to achieve those objectives so that your goals would be fulfilled and your vision could be achieved everything has to be aligned everything has to be aligned any question any query Okay. Uh, okay. Um, I think that's enough for today. Uh, let's let's uh, close this session. Exactly. Vision is a picture of a good future that you want to see. Okay. Okay. Any question? Any query so far? Am I making sense? It's the highest point of your imagination. Yes, Daniel. You do get to remember all all the things that I've highlighted you in the marketing intelligence class. Yes, I do appreciate that. Okay, so does anybody have any question, any query? Now, when we talk about strategic marketing, we need to create uh, we need to create a long term and our company's uh, vision and mission and and to establish our products uh, categories of our products we need to establish a portfolio so that we can get to reach at a marketing king position this is in order to do that we need to set up various goals we need to do various uh, we need to set up various objectives how can we get to know whether we have achieved that goal various results we need to achieve and for those results to achieve what are the activities that needs to be done for each and every objective we need to do certain activities right we may be able to, uh, to do three activities activities in order to achieve our one objective we need to do uh, two activities in order to achieve our objective number two we need to achieve uh, we need to do uh, maybe 10 activities in order to achieve our objective number three only when all these objective all these results are there then we can be sure that our goal has been achieved Yet again so i hope that you guys are understanding what i'm trying to portray in this lecture so if you have any query and if you have any question just let me know and uh, please 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 do watch my lectures lecture number one lecture number two in a more detailed manner create notes pause the video pause the lecture note down things as much as possible because only when you get to understand things you would be able to do things in a in a good way and in a better way so please i want everyone to think like a businessman i want everyone to feel like a businessman i want everyone to to uh, to go deep with this with these thoughts and uh, come with a uh, with a plan for your better life and uh, i can i can help you to do that so please let me know if you have any query any question and inshallah till next class i will uh, i will do things uh, i will try to create uh, other topics right please do look at the uh, the the business template uh, the report template and create groups i want group of five members all working on a uh, what you need to do you need to establish a product or service of your own right yes five members and uh, you need to establish a group in a such a way that five member group if uh, uh, if the girls get to establish a group of, of their own there should not be any boy in it 
and if a boy gets to establish a group there should not be any girl in it right so what you guys need to do the girls have to have their own groups five members at a group and the boys need to create their own groups five members at each group right and try to come up with a product try to come up with a service of your own and do look at the template that i've uploaded and if you have any query just let me know so that i can get to answer that i'll don't worry shabir i'll try to upload uh, the details of the project in the uh, in the in the post or meanwhile what you can do is you can get to download the template and you can go through it and if you have any query and question just let me know till then thank you very much for uh, for this session and i hope that you might have uh, understood something from the marketing perspectives and uh, do get to share these things with your family members do get to share this thing with your uh, other colleagues and other friends and uh, do share the links of these lecture with you among your other family member friends i don't mind and uh, if you have any query and question just let me know till then allah hafiz thank you very much jazakallah